This next exercise, we will place five pucks on the outer perimeter of the crease. The goalie will go down into a butterfly on the center puck, positioning himself on the round of the crease. He will move around from puck to puck, maintaining his position on the top of the crease. Now, what allows the goaltender to make precise movements to stay on the top of the crease is in his preparation prior to the movement. Notice the twist in the body before the goaltender crawls across the ice to his next position. He is actually twisting his body in perfect alignment with the puck, and with a small forward thrust, he moves across into position. The twist is critical to the precision movement. Too much will take the goaltender too deep in the net, and not enough will take him outside of the crease, compromising his position. As the goaltender begins, have him move from puck to puck without leaving the crease line. As his ability and speed increases, have him skip over a puck or two to make longer pushes and see if they are accurate. If the goaltender loses his position, have him start over from the beginning. Eventually, the goaltender will begin to master his precision movement and position. From there, we will work this exercise into a drill. Using the same setup, we will now introduce a player. The goaltender will start on the round of the crease and again be in the butterfly position on the middle puck. The player will be in the slot area and come down on the goaltender. He can go to any puck he chooses and from any order. He will continue shooting each of the five pucks in any random order he chooses. One thing the player cannot do is try to fool the goaltender and fake him. He will have enough to do without trickery, especially to start this drill. The player is not permitted to move any of these pucks except for the last puck. If the goaltender has nothing for him to shoot at, he can move the last puck and try to go around him. You can actually give the goaltender more time in the beginning of this drill by moving the puck just a little further out from the crease line. This will mean that the player will have to travel a bit further to get to each of the pucks. You want to build an instinctive reaction to move to a puck while maintaining the round of the crease. This can be accomplished in many ways with drills and exercises from a butterfly position or doing drills where the goaltender starts from a different position in the net.